So now that we're in a new calendar year, if you are on a calendar year rather than a fiscal year, you might get this error message on the screen that you cannot enter a transaction for a date that isn't within the fiscal year. To correct that, we just need to create our new fiscal year. Let me clear this transaction. And under our administration tab, under company, you'll see the fiscal period setting. Look at your last fiscal year and you can see the last day of the fiscal year. This means when you create a new year, the next calendar date needs to be the first day of that fiscal year. So to do that now, we'll enter in the year 2019 and the first day sets automatically and it makes an assumption on the last day. Verify that day is correct, verify the number of periods and click calculate. This will create all of your fiscal periods. It will set the first date of each fiscal period in the most logical order it can. You can then change the name of each period by simply typing over the period name. This can be helpful if you're on a fiscal year rather than a calendar year or if your cycle for the year is something like a 445 period. Now if you're on a quarter period you can just simply enter 4 and calculate and you'll notice how it automatically resets the year for you. I'm going to put this back to 12 and calculate and click OK. That's all there is to setting the fiscal period. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.